The month of March is now part of history. As we step into April, what do we expect to see for Cardano, Ripple, and Bitcoin? Will the ball keep running or will it slow down? Also, what could happen if Ripple suffered a slap in the face in the SEC lawsuit? Does Ripple have any contingency plan for its US customers if this happens? Find these and many other interesting stories on Bitcoin, Ripple, and Cardano. Now, before we start, make sure you subscribe to Crypto Academy for your daily dose of crypto news, and also turn on bell notifications so you will be notified when we upload, since YouTube doesn't always recommend videos for people you're subscribed to. Also, leave a like on this video so we know if we should make more similar videos. Having said that, let us get right into the video. To begin with, let's look at how the market wrapped up the month of March for Bitcoin and Cardano. As many hoped Bitcoin would cross the $60,000 line before the end of March, the crypto, however, struck below $60,000 towards the end of the month. According to Coindesk's latest headlines, Bitcoin retreated after failing for a second day to break through price resistance at $60,000, a key psychological level that has also proven a formidable stopping point during this year's powerful rally. Data from eight leading crypto exchanges tracked by Coindesk revealed that April the 1st volume trended lower since Bitcoin broke a record high on March 13th. Coindesk, however, believes that Bitcoin bulls are likely to test a new all-time high very soon. According to Jason Lau, Chief Operating Officer at OKCoin, Bitcoin is poised to retest the $60,000 level again. Jason further believes that the reason for the rally we saw recently was that Bitcoin and crypto have gone mainstream, citing that the normalization of crypto in daily chatter and usage is increasingly obvious. How about Cardano? How did it perform the just-completed March? According to Coindesk, Cardano ADA, was the top performer in terms of percentage gains, with a staggering 560% return. Cardano token is currently the number 5 cryptocurrency by market capitalization, behind only Bitcoin, Ether, Binance's BNB token, and the stablecoin Tether. Cardano also saw a significant price boost in March, courtesy of Coinbase, which listed ADA on both its institutional platform Coinbase Pro and more retail-centered Coinbase Exchange in March. The other exciting news on Bitcoin goes to its miners. Bitcoin mining broke a new record in March, fueled by the coin's price rally, as miners collected a monthly revenue of $1.5 billion in March alone. Sources argue that the recent mining revenue spike is rewarding miners who already had a well-established setup before the Bitcoin bull run, or great foresight in the third quarter of 2020. This means that Bitcoin is not only profitable when you trade, you can make a fortune by mining Bitcoin as well. On to other Bitcoin news, sources have revealed that there's a new generation of Bitcoin hodlers who were forged during market rallies over the past year, and it has been established that there are no signs of the trend slowing down. According to a research from Glassnode, there has been a continued growth in Bitcoin held between one month and six months, which indicates a strong conviction behind the recent price rally. The Bitcoins were accumulated throughout the recent bull market, which started towards the end of last year, meaning new hodlers are sitting on a near 500% increase since October. This is an indication that Bitcoin investors are moving their holdings into storage, meaning that interest in short-term trading is fading away. Moving on, what's happening in the world of Cardano? FX Street headlines have it that Cardano's bulls remain hopeful, even as the quote seesaws around 1.1950 up 0.86% intraday on early April 2nd. Cardano has recently experienced a two-week-old resistance line guard with immediate upside, a level FX Street believes ADA needs to cross if it's to break the monotony. Elsewhere, for those who have been waiting to hear this, Cardano has now fully achieved block production decentralization. This means that Cardano has moved from a federated and centralized block production system to a decentralized, community-controlled one. 
FX Street believes that with Cardano running on a decentralized block production, it's getting one step closer to being the so-called Ethereum killer. Moreover, what will full decentralization mean for Cardano? First, the move by Cardano is a huge achievement for the blockchain as it represents a step in the journey to the blockchain being placed entirely in the hands of its community. Additionally, City Am believes that decentralizing Cardano, which also means diversifying its block production, comes with security benefits, as a larger number of people producing blocks means there is less risk of a few bad actors taking control of the network. Also, you could be asking, why is decentralization so important for Cardano? According to Citiam, decentralization is at the philosophical heart of the Cardano blockchain, not only from a technical perspective, but also geopolitically. In the case of a global scale, decentralization is essential for creating a global financial operating system which can run autonomously from a central authority, lowering costs and fees in the process, and providing a more sustainable and secure platform. In other exciting Cardano news, Graph Blockchain has announced about its acquisition of Cardano's ADA for proof-of-stake mining. Graph Blockchain allocated $300,000 of its staking capital into ADA on March 29, 2021. Graphic Blockchain CEO Paul Harbour further commented that they anticipate that the company will be making further purchases shortly to further tokenize their cash position and diversify their growing crypto portfolio. Moving on, let's take a look at what is happening in the Ripple world. Most recently, the price of Ripple's XRP to USD has been holding the higher ground for the third straight sessions, as sellers continue to lug just shy of the 60 cents mark. The crypto is awaiting a strong catalyst for the next push higher, as the Good Friday holiday thinned trading could likely propel exaggerated move in the spot. XRP's daily chart shows that the price has failed to find acceptance above the powerful horizontal trendline resistance at 60 cents. This has compelled the bulls to enter a phase of consolidation as they gather strength once again in order to yield a sustained break above the level. And what does it mean if the upside break materializes? If this happens, FX Street believes the next fierce barrier awaits around $0.6425. Moving on, if you've been following the case between the US SEC and Ripple, you might know that the case is taking new turns every day. Even though Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse recently expressed confidence that Ripple will win, it's not with utmost certainty. This brings us to the question, what happens if Ripple loses its SEC lawsuit? In a recent interview on CNN, Garlinghouse was asked what Ripple would do with its US operations in the event of a defeat. The CEO answered in the affirmative, explaining further that certainly could be part of the solution. We always thought about our product as how to solve a customer's problem first and foremost, and I think that served our growth, and it's the reason we saw large activity, billions of dollars in transactions across RippleNet, Garlinghouse explained. Garlinghouse further dismissed the danger of Ripple falling behind DeFi or global stablecoins as they serve other use cases. Garlinghouse also did mention that abandoning XRP and replacing it with an alternative could certainly be part of the solution in the United States when asked about contingency plans. Well, what would abandoning XRP mean to the Ripple community? Certainly, it wouldn't mean good. Moreover, Ripple fans should take a sigh of relief as some more light appears at the end of the tunnel. In other words, Ripple CEO is hopeful ahead of a new SEC administration, as Senate is set to vote to approve Gary Gensler as the new chairman of the SEC. Finance feeds believe that this event may produce changes to the outcome of the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. I'm hopeful. With Gary Gensler and the new chair likely to be confirmed in a couple of weeks, there's an opportunity to have a conversation with that new leadership as he brings his team in," Ripple CEO stated. Gary Gensler is believed to be more open-minded towards cryptocurrency, as he has even made positive comments about Bitcoin in the past. This new hope also means that the chances of Ripple losing the case aren't diminishing, 
which is good news to the Ripple community. And that was it for today's video. Please like this video so we know if we should make more similar videos. Subscribe and turn on bell notifications if you haven't already, so you can stay up to date with the most important crypto news. And we'll see you tomorrow in another video. Take care.